Welcome back everyone to another episode of Vegetarian Cooking with JJ. Today I'm going to be making portobello mushroom steaks along with some summer grilled veggies and I'm going to show you in a moment what we're going to be using. Hold on a moment. This is the beautiful Staub grill that my mother and father-in-law got us for our wedding anniversary. So I'm going to be using this beautiful grill in the oven in order to make our delicious meal. This will be my first time trying the Staub grill, so I'm excited and looking forward to it. Before we put anything on the grill, I'm going to give it a nice coating of oil, pop it in the oven as the oven is preheating. So it will gradually heat up, and once it's fully heated, that's when we're gonna pop our stuff on the grill, and you'll see. I'm sure you will enjoy it just as much as I do if you decide to make this at home. Of course, if you do not have the Staub grill, feel free to use your own grill, of course. What types of grills do you use at home? Feel free to drop me a line down below. So even if you are not vegetarian or vegan and you just wanna try something new, maybe you're trying to reduce your meat intake or you're trying to transition over to vegetarian or vegan, this is a perfect recipe for you. Mushrooms emulate a meaty texture and they take on many different flavors. So you can switch up the marinade if you like, but I'm sure you'll love this more traditional style, traditional flavored marinade. It's really simple to do. And since it's grilling season, I thought that I would throw this in here for a summer. <laughs> This is going to be a satiating meal and I'm sure that you'll be satisfied in the end if you decide to try it out. So without further ado, let's head over to the kitchen and get cooking. First of all, preheat our oven to 425. And I'm gonna pour some oil on our stab grill. I'm just going to coat it with my hands, but you can use a pastry brush. And I'll pop it in the oven and get it nice and hot. I'm just going to make thick slices of this yellow potato. We'll cut off the bottom of our fennel. Remove the outer bruise layers. Cut off the top and make some even slices, keeping the bottom intact so it doesn't all fall apart. And I'm gonna juice one lemon. I'll add some olive oil. Add the Italian seasoning. Some fresh ground pepper. and some salt. I'm gonna add a little bit of apple cider vinegar and a little bit more olive oil. And I'll add some dried tarragon. And I'll give it a stir. I'm popping our potatoes in a bowl and I'll pour over our herbaceous mixture. Coat them nicely and pop them on our stub grill. Our potatoes will take 30 minutes in the oven and we'll want to turn them halfway through. For our portobello mushroom marinade, I'm adding one half cup of red wine, one tablespoon of our balsamic, some rosemary and thyme, One tablespoon of vegan Worcester sauce. One tablespoon of our miso paste. One tablespoon of our liquid smoke. About a teaspoon of garlic powder. Some fresh ground pepper. You're welcome to try white pepper too. And I'll just mash in our miso paste to the rest of the liquid. Thank you. 
I'm just chopping off the stems of our portobello mushrooms. You're welcome to degill the portobello mushrooms if you wish. I personally washed them thoroughly and dried them thoroughly, so I'm keeping them. I'm just popping in our portobello mushrooms in this dish. And I'm going to pour over our marinade. And I'm going to gently massage it into our portobello mushrooms to ensure that they absorb all that nice flavor. Portobello mushrooms contain B vitamins, antioxidants, phytonutrients, selenium, zinc, and more potassium than bananas and a little bit of vitamin D as well. The way that I'm preparing the portobello mushrooms, it really gives you something to sink your teeth into and you get that nice umami flavor to complement the bite-worthy texture. I'm going to slice our carrots lengthwise. And I'll do the same for our zucchini and the same for our Chinese eggplant. I'm cutting some pieces of our red bell pepper and slicing some red onion. So this is our lemon mixture. We're gonna coat all our veggies, except for the portobello mushrooms, with this mixture. I'm adding some salt. Dip in our fennel. I'm gonna place it in another dish and our carrots, our zucchini. Give them all a nice coating. Our red onion and our red bell pepper. I'm flipping our potatoes here. You can see the grill marks there. And I'm adding our marinated portobello mushrooms. Add on our veggies. And I decided to add some cherry tomatoes. Remember to flip all the veggies halfway through so they get cooked nicely. And I added some more marinade to our portobello mushrooms, keeping it nice and juicy. I'm turning our heat up to broil so we can get some more browning on the surface. And I prepared a nice salad to go with this meal. You can always top your salad with nuts and or seeds. And we're ready to take out our Staub grill with all the goodness. And yes, you will notice, oops, I did it again. I loaded it up with way too much food. Oh, veggies, veggies. <laughs> well, what can I say? I love my food. I get excited. <laughs> so now it's steaming hot and ready for plating and consumption. <laughs> If I hadn't overloaded the grill, the grill marks would be more dramatic. But as I said, I get excited when it comes to food. And so we have an abundance of food here that we won't finish in one day. But it's great for lunches the next day. You can either heat it up as is or incorporate all these veggies into a nice sandwich. And I'm just going ahead and garnishing the dish with some fresh parsley. Of course, this is all the more amazing with some drizzled on balsamic reduction. If you're planning to make a smaller portion, lentils or beans would also be a good addition to this meal. It's that time again, I get to try it. <laughs> Oh, is a parsley stuck to my parsley stuck to my fork here? No biggie. Get a little bit of everything. As much as I could fit. Nice dimensions of flavor. Simple and delicious. 
simple and delicious. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I also finished it off with a balsamic glaze at the end just for that finishing touch, you know, it worked out well. Okay, before I bow down, remember to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel. There's going to be a new video every Monday, keeping things interesting in my kitchen and in yours. Bon appétit. Now it's time for some dad jokes to go along with this episode. Why couldn't the monkey use the grill? Cause he wasn't a gorilla. What do you call a mushroom in a tux? A portobello. What do you call a portobello busting a move on the dance floor? A fun guy.